Hey guys, it's Agnieszka and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to make miniature Palmer clay melon. So if you're interested in that, just keep on watching. But before we jump right in, I would like to say thank you so, so much for all of your lovely comments under my last video. It was so nice to read all the congratulations. Thank you very much, guys. You're amazing. Okay, and now without further ado, let's get started. As you can see, I've already prepared two pieces of clay in dark green and orange, and I'm going to take small piece of orange clay now and roll it into a bowl. Next I'm taking green clay and I'm going to roll it out using my acrylic roller to get as thin a sheet as possible. Moving on I'm covering my already prepared orange bowl with green clay. Here I'm using my X-Acto knife to cut off any excess and I'm rolling my bowl once again to smooth the surface. I'm going to take my dotting tool now and I'm using it to create small dimple. Then I'm grabbing my razor and I'm making shallow cuts lines all over the bowl. Now I'm going to cut my melon in halves using the razor. Here I'm using my needle tool to reshape edges of my melon halves ever so slightly and next I'm using my dotting tool to create dimples on both halves. Moving on I'm going to use a toothbrush to create a melon skin texture. As you can see, here I'm cutting my melon half into quarters and I'm also going to make a whole melon from scrap clay. You don't have to worry about the color of your clay leftovers because we are going to use acrylic paint anyway. So, to make whole melon, I'm simply rolling my scrap clay into a bowl. I'm then creating a dimple and shallow cuts all over the surface. I'm texturing it using a toothbrush. And finally, I'm adding tiny piece of green clay in the dimple to create a stem. All we want to do now is to make melon seeds. To make them, I'm going to use this piece of tan clay, which I'm going to roll out with my fingers to create very thin snake. Now I'm using my precise knife to cut off a thin piece and that's it. If you want to, you can use your knife to slightly reshape it and give it a teardrop shape. Repeat these steps and prepare a whole bunch of these small seeds. And now you can finally bake all of your creations according to your clay instructions. Wait until they cool down and use acrylic paint in pale yellow to paint your melon skin. Depending on your paint, you may have to repeat this step to get an opaque color. Here I'm using a Q-tip soaked in nail polish remover to clean my creation and we're almost done. Finally, I'm going to add seeds. So I'm mixing a little bit of resin with yellow and red food coloring. I'm pouring my mixture into the dimples and then I'm adding my already baked seeds. And I'm going to repeat the same steps with melon quarter. Wait until resin hardens and secure your creation with semi-gloss varnish. And it's ready! I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you do, please give it a thumbs up, that will be great. And if you're not already subscribed to my channel, you can click here if you're watching on your computer. Or you can click the link in the description box down below if you're watching on any other mobile devices. Thanks for watching guys, have a great time playing with Palmer Clay and I will see you in my next one.